Hello everybody, this is the Benjadator and you're watching Let's Play Saga Frontier. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so we just finished uh, our friend Loot's quest and as you, uh, as you probably discovered from watching those videos, if you did, uh, it's a very short and fairly stupid quest. But, uh, we're past the halfway point, guys. We've completed four quests and there's only three more to go. Now, originally, I was going to be thinking about doing Amelia's quest. That was, uh, for a long time what I figured it was going to be. Uh, but I decided instead we are going to go with Riki's quest. Uh, so unlike Loot's quest, this is actually a quest that is... Okay, I gotta stop saying quest, I'm repeating myself so much. But it is a journey, uh, a scenario, so to speak, that is actually well designed. However, there are elements of this particular quest that are a real pain in the ass. Uh, and you'll be seeing what those are, not right away. Actually, you'll, if, you, uh, if you've been following this LP and you've seen how some of the other quests go, you'll actually, I think, be somewhat impressed with how the beginning goes. So let's enter Riki's quest. Uh, I know exactly what type of pain I'm in for, but <laughs> I think that... I, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. You'll you'll see soon enough exactly what type of uh, what type of crap that you're going to be dealing with pretty soon. But it's not a bad quest. It's just uh, it's aggravating. Uh, Amelia's quest is a lot easier to deal with. Trust me. All right, so let us begin. Ooh, well, that's a place we haven't seen before. <laughs> It looks like some kind of um, Omnimax theater that had an accident with uh, with red stuff spilling out of it. Yeah, this place looks pretty creepy. What 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 be going on here? Oh no, there's an earthquake. Oh, there's Ricky. We're gonna start off this quest with him, like trying to get out of some kind of avalanche. Is that what's going on? Okay, no, he's all right. Go, Riki. Uh, so, as you might have figured out, Riki, yes, is a monster. Uh, okay. Lives in Marginal. Is playing sad music. And Marginal is, looks right now kind of a crappy place. Yeah, I figured. World is dying. Gotta go get the seven scepters or whatever. Ugh. Okay, so that's that's actually not too far from the actual plot. <laughs> All right, so he's got dead grandma. Okay, so this is already really depressing. So yeah, Riki. Uh, so how monsters work is, and I didn't really explain this in any of the other quests because I, I don't like monsters. Is that uh, you uh, you absorb abilities from other monsters, and this is something that you see an awful lot in uh, some of the other Romantic Saga games. Uh, excuse me, I must, I don't know. I'm 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 feeling some some cold coming on, but hopefully it's not too bad. Anyway, so you absorb abilities here, and then you would ideally move them up here. And this would be your abilities list, and if there's one here, it can easily get replaced if uh, if you find another ability. And so you actually transform depending on what abilities you have. Uh, so the really tricky thing in, in this game is trying to get your sort of best form because you can turn it into different monsters. And also how this works with monsters as well is that you have what's called your natural HP and your base HP. And your base HP is based on whatever monster form. So let's say you turn into a Trisaur Jr. that has, I think, a, a 458 base HP. But then there's your uh, natural HP, which is how much HP that particular character has. Uh, and you get more natural HP. It's, a, it's an accumulative thing that you get based on how many unique skills you absorb. So for Riki, what you want to do is you want to get as many ab unique, ab a unique skills as possible and then get the best form. And then those two numbers will add together and it'll be pretty significant. Uh, so you'll see more of this as we go on. But that's more or less how, uh, how, how it works in this game. Uh, and you'll see what the best form is eventually. Yep, you sure can. Uh-oh, not the Elder. It's never good when the Elder's looking for you. What are these people doing? Alright, let's fight the Foxy Sisters. Because why not? 
So L Riki starts off in what is known as his Lomax form. And uh, this is literally the uh, one of the only times where you get to have this form. It's basically after you after you absorb a different type of monster, you're no longer a Lomax. Uh, this is the only time you can actually keep this form. Uh, the only exception, of course, is this particular battle. Uh, I'm going to absorb a skill in this battle, and I'll still be a Lomax, but... You know, once you get into the real world and start fighting real monsters like the, uh, you know, the, the Skeleton Man and uh, the Suzakus and stuff like that, uh, then you start to transform and you get to turn to different forms of creatures. So, by the way, guess what? Uh, guess what monster I'm gonna eventually try to be? Okay, well, if you guess Suzaku, that's actually might not be it because there's there's a lot of different uh, choices, but Suzaku is a, a possibility. We'll see. Uh oh. Yep, there's a lot of tremors going on. Oh my god, this, this is so morbid. Everybody's like, we're gonna die. Our world's dying. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how long these, these, these creatures live. Uh oh. Time's running out. Yeah, probably. Oh my god, it's a ring. This is sounding really familiar. Could this perhaps be uh, the plot to a very, very popular trilogy of books that were writ written over a hundred years ago? Yes, yes. It's it's the the plot of this particular quest is a lot like Lord of the Rings. Yep, we're gonna have to go out and get some rings because the power of the rings is gonna save. Ricky's homeland. So creative, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna be jumping into a region, and that looks suspiciously like scrap. I don't know, if you're an old person and you're having a dream, I don't think you should put too much significance on that, because you, you might just be... <laughs> okay, so now Ricky's turned into somewhat of a human. Hooray. Oh, he has a little tail wiggle. And then he jumps into what we can assume is scrap. Okay, so here we are. Oh, look, yep, it is scrap. And there's our favorite bar. Well, Ricky, if you're looking for party members, <laughs> you've gone to the right place. That was smart. All right, so yay, we're Ricky in semi-human form. All right, so you know why I said that uh, last time in Loose Quest that this was the last time we're ever going to use him? Well, I lied. I uh, actually thought about who I'm going to be using in this quest, and loot is a good, loot is a good, uh, <laughs> loot is a good candidate. <coughs> hey, loot. Yep, he's singing. I didn't know. Well, I guess loot does have a good voice. I thought he was just good at playing the loot. <laughs> Ricky told this crazy story. I like that. All right, so yeah, loot has joined us. How about that? And loot, of course. Oh, he doesn't have a... Uh, he doesn't have double slash. That's a little bit disappointing. I like it when loot has double slash. Alright, so... Yep, loot's our boy. Who's that guy? Mm. Oh, Shrike. Yeah, that's right. So Shrike will be an interesting place to go later. And look, it's Gen. <laughs> yep. Oh, come on, Gen. Be nice. What's up? Yep, well, that's a, that's a pretty much a textbook definition of rings. Thank you, T260G. Mm. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, Samuna Alphabet. I don't I have no idea what that is. Yeah, let's let's take him along. So, yeah, we actually are going to be using T260G as well. I mean, even though he doesn't... He's mostly... Again, he's not very good right now, but we can always change that. Remember, he's a robot. We can put... Beefy armor on him and give him a hyper blaster, and it'll be awesome. Hey, Mei Ling. Uh oh. All right, so we both have rings. That's really cool. Yeah, that's what happens when you step through dimensional portals. They disappear pretty quickly. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're reunited by the power of the power of the rings. A little monster thing and a hot chick who can shoot guns. Uh-oh. Marjmal. 
Oh yeah, you're you're a real cheerful fellow, aren't you, Riki? <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, well, terraforming and natural calamities are kind of hard to reverse, aren't they? All right, let's let's save Riki's crappy little uh, you know <laughs> land before time world. Easy. <laughs> Just ask people to let them have their rings. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Gonna meet one real soon. <laughs> Bad people and garbage. Yeah, the dialogue here is actually kind of... It's, it's kind of funny. Like, it's a little bit lighter than some of the other stuff. Oh, yeah. Didn't want to talk to him again. Alright, well, we got... We got a decent party right now. We got our friend Mei Ling, who we haven't used in about three quests. No, oh, she's got quick draw. That's awesome. Yeah, it's interesting when you start quests after old ones and you reach a certain battle rank, there are party members that just start with certain abilities. Oh, hey, Gen. Gen, Gen's coming with us. A drunk joined the party, yes. Our friend Gen. Alright, so we can't really do much right now. We could go to the junk shop, but we only have 100 credits. Must have been Ricky's allowance or something. Uh, we can try to sleep here, but there's no point. And, of course, if you try to go to, yeah, 10,000 credits to go to Kurong. Yeah, you can't do that. Even though, as we found out in the last quest, uh, even if you don't have, or, well, I didn't show you, but if you actually have zero credits and she and she asks for 100 credits, it, she pretty much gives you a ride for free. So let's head to this office right here. This is something I haven't really showed you before. Caballero! What's going on? <laughs> Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh no! Don't prostitute yourself, Mei Ling, for a stupid ring. What? Oh. Yeah, what's what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, Loot's, Loot Loot knows what's up. Loot knows about the lying tendencies of men to, you know, sleep with women. Oh, come on, Mei Ling. I mean, I know you're like a like a like a somewhat of a kung fu master, supposedly. Uh <laughs> uh, you can't. You can never trust a guy with a fedora that has like a, a skullosaurus and a robot as a pet. All right. So what's going on? Hmm. Let's. Let, okay. So we're we're gonna be uh formulating a plan. This is pretty exciting. It's good to see these party members that usually don't say anything to each other work together, like a couple of bosses. This is exciting. All right. So. Pretty much the only thing you can do now is is just say, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> There's not really much to prepare because you can't really do much at this point in the game. It's not like, oh crap, I forgot to get a bunch of cures and stuff like that. All right, so let's go in the back. Let's do it. All right. Woohoo! It's going to be exciting. Now it's playing some uh, epic showdown uh, old-timey western music, which is exciting. Now Ricky's gonna he's gonna walk backwards like he's showing them a tour. He's giving them a campus tour of the factory. So this part's actually kind of fun. So yeah, <laughs> the robot's gonna use all of his uh, his junk bazooka powers. <laughs> okay, that just doesn't sound right, junk bazooka. <laughs> I don't think the translators were really thinking that one through when they came up with that. <laughs> uh oh. What's going to do? Oh, look at that slap. I like how they actually bothered to animate her. She could have just done like a little spin thing. Yeah, she's all right. Woo! Thanks, Ricky. Yep. <laughs> uh, Loot's, a, Loot's a good guy. Yeah, she is pretty tough. All right, Caballero. Caballero has got a ring, and what do we got here? 400 credits. All right, so this is actually one of those. Uh, this one of these secret areas. So already we're off to a good start can't go here with any of the other characters, which is pretty awesome. Alright, we're gonna be expecting our attack. So now we got a full party. Yeah, look at that. We got a... And actually, the one thing that I should mention is that four of these five characters you want to use. So, this is gonna sound really weird because Mei, Ying actually, or Mei Ling is actually one of these more important characters of this quest, but uh, you don't want to be using her forever. You definitely do not want to be using Mei Ling forever. Uh, so, when you get a chance to get another party member that you think is pretty strong, replace her. Alright, so what's in here? Oh, look, treasure. Whee! 
Alright, so we got the Kakari Blade. Might as well put that on loot. Oh, and put the, uh, put the backpack on. Eh. Might as well put it on our friend, the robot. It'll give him 30 more HP. Because robots are fun like that. Yeah, for the next couple dungeons, just anything that you find useful to put on T260, just do it. So, whee, 400 credits. Yeah, we're making a lot of money already. This is pretty cool. Good job, Ricky. Woo! Alright, now we're gonna run around and we're gonna pick up some more. Uh, okay, nothing here. Nothing important. Alright, so now we're gonna go into the factory. Because the factory is, is all sorts of fun. So there's actually no treasures here. You can actually pretty much skip everything else. Uh, whoop! And we're gonna fight a battle. Now I want to show you something important about this battle. Because it's a little bit different than some of the other ones. Normally I'd just skip this, but... Uh, because that guy was firing at you... You're gonna have to endure some, uh... Some unfortunateness... Uh, in the beginning. With the enemy fire, everybody gets hit. And of course, Gen gets hit the, the most because he's wearing basically no armor. So... Thankfully, these guys are pretty easy, even though we're extremely weak right now. Yeah, you get... <laughs> you block bullets. Now we're going to using Heaven Hell, which is going to hurt like a bitch. And everybody just hates the woman, apparently. Just hate me Lang. Oh my god, everything's getting blocked. Do not block my, my bazooka. There we go. Woo! Unfortunately, I don't think that Riki's going to pick up any abilities from this, uh... Of this battle because those were human opponents, which kind of sucks. Yeah. All right, so got some power ups. That's always a good thing. Whee! All right. Now, if I recall, there is something in that that glowing box right there. So we're just gonna fight this battle. Uh, unfortunately, another battle where uh, Riki does not get any abilities, but we got a power cure. That's always exciting. I think there's actually, yeah, there's another one over there, so let's go get it. Must we fight this gun cart thingy. Uh, felt like forever before, uh, since I fought a McDobby. Alright, so, let's see if we can get around this guy. And grab a steel amulet, that's exciting. Let's put it on, let's put it on again. He needs something, he's got buttoware. Oh, there we go, fiber vest and a steel amulet that'll help save him from the evil enemy fire. Alright, so what you want to do next is you want to slip around here, which, or not. <laughs> and watch as Ricky turns into a skeleton. Or, okay, a, a giant spear. That works too. <laughs> okay, so yeah, now, now we have a giant spear, or a floating spear in our party. Uh, so, what you want to do when that happens is you want to equip his ability and move it up here. Uh, okay, so as you can see, or, hold on a sec, yeah, you want to keep heal as long as possible. Tail, uh, but you also want to hold on to the tails as well, um, and there's a reason why. Uh, so you don't want to get rid of these. Is, is, these are not very useful skills, but I, but I just remembered that you do want to hold on to those, so. Now he's, his race is living lands, his stats are up a little bit. Uh, there's also one, one other thing that I should mention, and that is the fact that you need to, in other words, the more skills you get, the more natural HP you get. Uh, there are requirements, there are, that are, there are natural HP requirements for getting better monsters. So it's not like you could turn to Suzaku right now. Uh, you'd have to absorb a certain amount of skills. So there is kind of a progressive curve for this. All right, so now let's go up here and talk to this guy. There he is, Caballero. Oh, I probably should have saved beforehand. And that's okay. Caballero actually is not that difficult. He's, uh... You just kind of have to use your most powerful techniques, and that, that'll usually take care of it. And thankfully, Gen has got his... Uh... Yeah, he's got that armor on, which helps immensely. Because otherwise it would have hurt a lot more, so... Yeah, you might as well use Thrust, because why not? And, uh... The Junk Bazooka. All that good stuff. Whee! And, uh, yes, use Sunray, actually. This does a decent amount of damage. And then, finally, Double Slash with Gen, because hooray. Alright, so this is gonna hurt a little bit. Yep. Yeah, these these detractors are a little bit annoying. Um, fortunately, they're not that much HP, so... Yeah, look at that. Nice shot. Nice shot, Mei Ling. And, uh, hopefully don't kill Riki. That'd be sad. Alright, so that wasn't the most useful thing, because we all hit different members, but we should we should be able to 
We should be able to do a number on him next time. And thankfully, uh, the enemy fire is almost not affecting Ricky at all, even though he's living his existence right now as a floating spear, which is, uh, you know, not arguably the most comfortable thing. But double, sl double slash is really the most powerful thing you got for the game right now. So, yeah, these detractors are annoying, and that level 2 combo should wipe out one of the other detractors. Yay, you're dead. Yeah, 688, you're not surviving that. Uh, more bazookas. Come on, loot, you can do it. All right, so now we only got we only got the uh, the other dude left. Whatever whatever his name is. Oof. All right, loot, you can survive. I believe in you. Wee. Punch. Uh, yeah, sunray. This this should this should wave him out. Yeah, that by itself should do it. I think. Although thrust and sunray isn't really that powerful. So okay, there we are. Yay, we beat him. We showed Caballero who's boss. It's something from the Vulcan, too. Alright, we got a lot of credits for that, so we're, we're, Ricky's picking up a lot of cash pretty quickly. Whee! Alright. What? We don't have 10,000 credits. There we are. That's more reasonable. Yay, we beat him. We got the ring. And so rings are actually uh, fairly valuable assets in this game. You can use them as uh, items that actually improve you quite a bit. So, yay! It's finally good to see a quest where you actually have chapters and, you know, unique storylines and stuff like that, unlike Loot's quest, which was garbage. Alright, so that was the first video of Let's Play Saga Frontier with Riki. Uh, we'll see you next time.